Okay, well, here's something I've been doing recently. I've been playing golf for, uh, those of you who might think it's a bit boring, and there's not a lot of science behind it. If I'm actually here showing Newton's laws of motion, even if it doesn't always look like it. First of all, Newton's first law. The ball just sits there. And actually would sit there until I smack it. It's common sense. However, that's Newton's law of inertia. Then, there's Newton's second law. The harder I hit it, the faster the ball moves. And in theory, if I do this well enough, the further the ball will move. Again, that's force equals mass times acceleration, or F equals MA. However, it's not just about power. The air pushes back on the ball whilst it's flying too. This is the most incredible one. Newton's third law. It states that for every action, there's an equal but opposite reaction. So, when I hit the ball, the ball hits back at the club. That's why I've got to hold on to the club tight, otherwise it's going to end up flying. So in case you don't realise, every shot I take isn't just luck, it's science in motion.